My veins are popping out my face. I look messed up. Welcome back to another episode of Stevie's P.O. Box, episode 22, folks. First off, I want to let you all know that I got a new podcast with my brother Jeremiah Watkins called Scissor Bros. The Scissor Bros podcast uh, link will be in the YouTube description. So I let it stack up, folks. Uh, We got several packages. Let's get this going, huh? First letter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the letters first, okay? The first letter is from SM. They're, uh, I think, Christian or satanic pamphlets called The Beast. Uh, from JT's, yeah, and I don't know, they're like little comics, though. No Fear, No Fear, and another Beast. Let me get a little bit closer. Beast. Um, I hope there's a letter involved. Oh, here we go. Hey, Steve, hope all is well with you. I've known of you since your Mad TV days and your acting and Bits were hilarious anytime you were on screen. It was cool to see a fellow Asian in sketch comedy, especially back in that time. I did maybe that, maybe five or eight times. I was Kenneth in uh, the back of the day, woo. Heck, it's even more rare now. Since they wouldn't make a show like that today, I know that this is super random, but considering what's happening in the world, I thought I'd at least try to reach out to you. My ultimate end game is just to keep you safe with this knowledge that you have on Hand, because we're at a crucial point in the game where I know I can make a huge difference in people's lives. I'm writing writing to you today mainly because of the COVID vaccine rollout happening right now. But if you've already taken the vaccine, apologies. If you've already taken the vaccine, apologies, but completely discard the entire message and have a nice rest of your day. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. This is a serious letter. If you've ever seen the 1999 film The Matrix, one of my favorites, it's kind of like that in terms of the situation we find ourselves in and the the dilemma we face. The whole blue pill, red pill shtick is just a way for me to make this fun for people, considering that this is such a heavy topic for some. And I know I may paint a bleak picture here, but don't let it be mistaken. I would be writing to you today unless I had the clear solutions to go along with Said problems mentioned applying the tips I provided with only help you grow in life and help you become the best possible version of yourself as you could possibly be. And I can attest to this because I feel like I leveled up since applying this knowledge in my life. And I wish I had a sensei to teach me all of this. But the, the next best, best thing is to guide others so they could lead better lives just for some rationale and context on how I got to this point and learned all this info of what you're about to read. The paranormal ties everything I discussed together. I saw a ghost in my old workplace in 2015, and the experience made me question everything I, I thought I knew. And after years of researching and much soul searching, what you have on hand is the closest thing to the truth I have found. Using simple logic, I came to this conclusion that if ghosts are real, that means the afterlife is a thing and demons are real. That means we're in trouble. Humanity as a whole is in trouble. I'm sharing my findings with you because with proper knowledge, we have a chance, especially if the strong alpha males truly wake up to what's going, what's really going on in this world. And plus, the more awake 
people are, the more safer it will all be. And sometimes the best way to solve a problem is to prevent it from ever happening in the first place, and that's all I'm doing here. I remember you talking about the Freemasons controlling Hollywood with Eddie Bravo, so I might be preaching to the choir here, but I just want to strengthen any convictions of the open-minded people in society and hopefully sway them to the light. With that being said, please keep an open mind because this info is pretty out there, or at least uh, or at least entertain the info of what you're about to read because what you do with this info is literally a matter of life and death, and I'm a firm believer in that, that through the sharing of this info, it could potentially save your life. Anyway, Steve, love your energy, man. Pretty friendly and quirky dude. Sending much love to you from the 626 area. Stay safe and keep it frosty out there. Much love, scuffed Morpheus. You know, I would like, I appreciate all this. I'm going to read this on my own, and I appreciate this. This is like a whole midterm paper. I appreciate you reaching out to me in this positive way, SM, um, but I have all the all these other packages. I'm, you know, it's 3 in the morning right now, but I love you, brother. Th I'll definitely read this when I'm uh, about to go to sleep tonight. There's a, I mean, look at, this is like a whole, this is a whole essay here, but I will definitely take it seriously. I appreciate you writing out um, to Stevie's P.O. Box. Love you, brother. Um... Wow, we, we're starting, we're starting off hot, huh? That was a hot. Woo! I was straining just to read that. I was like, because the, because the, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. The lettering was really li, uh, small. Okay, so let's let's move. I, I'll I'll definitely check that out. There's a lot to read here, brother. This is like a whole. This is like a Linda Moulton Howe book right here. Okay, but I got you. Don't worry about it. I appreciate you being so honest with me. I'll definitely, you know, take the time out to read all this. There's a lot to read. I I, I could tell. Okay, the next one is from um, Nico Julius. Some stupid light. Having fun. Okay. Okay. Dear Stevie Weeby, I like to watch your mail videos, and I especially like your Warzone videos too. The time you got the last kill of the game was really cool. This is a poem I wrote for my school talent show. Okay, it's a poem from uh, Nico Julius here. I am the king of video games. I am the one who puts a smile upon my mom's face. I am the explorer of life. I am the one I am one whose family tells him to follow his dreams. I am the one who loses himself in music. I am the one with the heart of gold, the one with his family by his side. Thank you for making videos when I... When I get a chance, I'm going to send you a record when I get a chance to steal one from my uncle, your friend, Nico Julius. P.S. The Chinese man tattoo on your arm is really cool. My mom says I am too young to get a tattoo, but she doesn't even know I smoke cigarettes after school with Fat Tommy and everyone thinks we're so cool. <laughs> well, the fat Chinese guy you're referring to is not a Chinese guy. It's actually a tattoo of my brother. And I drew it. So, but I'm glad your I'm glad your mom likes it. And I really loved your poem. Thank you so much, Nico Julius. Stay in school. Cut down on those cigarettes, though, huh? I was smoking my myself over 14 years. Newports, Marlboro mediums. I I rolled them at one time. But try to wane that off those and maybe get to nicotine pouches. I, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm on nicotine pouches. The next letter is from Luis M. It's a cool sticker pack here. Just want y'all to see it. Look at that cute little sticker pack, huh? Luis. Hi, Stevie. My name is Luis. I'm a fan of your podcast. I'm the youngest of two siblings. I had an older brother who passed away when I was 17. I'm 26 now. I miss him so much. No day goes by. I don't think of him. The podcast of you and Bob remind me a lot of the relationship I had with my brother. You can feel... The love in the room. I finally built up the courage to write you, to you. Peace and love to you, Stevie. I'm excited to hear new music. Keep keep on keeping keeping on. Luis. 
Thank you, man. Thanks for sharing that. So it's this is this is already kind of like emotions, you know. It was like boom, poem, and then th that was. Um, I don't know what to say about your brother. Yeah, that's that 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 must have been hard to deal with, you know. I can't imagine Bob dying, but I know one day, it, you know, you know, my my father passed, so one day it, it's definitely gonna happen. But you know, that's I guess a part of life. And but it seems like you're uh, you're 26 now and you're doing well. And I'm glad if this content's doing anything, it's it's uh you know bringing some kind of positivity into your life but i appreciate you writing me also louise so thanks for that all right so the next one is um from clinton victorino clinton t victorino the literates and I take it it's a hip-hop group, literates, okay? Oh, shit, Quasar is in it? Wait, it says Quasar. So it's Ka Ka Cali, Ralph, and Quasar. SD State of Mind. The only quasar I know is from a, a group from Chicago called Typical Cats. So shout out to Quasar, Dennis and Kane, and the best rapper in my book that's out there, Quell. I got to show Quell some love because he's still the best in my eyes. But I don't know if it's the same one, but dude, check this out. Literates, thanks for the, the awesome music. Literates. Oh, no, it's Ralph Quasar. Yeah, yeah. It's Ralph Quasar, but there is a, a rapper named just Quasar. But this is Ralph Quasar and Ka Ka Kali. SD State of Mind. So these cats are from, um, ooh, respect, San Diego. Hell yeah. Definitely cop that, buy that, support that. SD State of Mind. Okay. I'll definitely rock the shirt on, on a future episode. You already know I wear everything people send me. I wear all this stuff. And then hold up. What's this? Dude, snap. Look at that. They even sent me a a candle. Kali and Ralph Quasar. Look at that. It's like, they're, dude, that's great marketing, dude. For an album, they have a candle. Look at that. How tight is that? Definitely support that. They spent a lot of time and effort thinking about how they're going to market their album. I've never seen that. That's, that's a great idea. S support that. Okay, let's keep it keep it going, huh? I'm sorry if this feels rushed. I'm just letting y'all know, like, real talk. Like, dude, my workload has doubled since this new podcast. Like, I'm having to come up new, uh, n having to come up with new ideas. You know, taking an Uber there. Um, you know, just um, you know, Jeremiah's putting a lot of work in with um, with the editing, and we're we're uh, taking on Craig helping us. So we're sorting things out. Um, but I think we're doing a positive thing, and that's why I'm so tired. I, I didn't mean to rush this. But um, I didn't want to neglect it either, you know what I mean? Because I know y'all took the time to send this cool stuff. Um, so the next package is from Bobby Holly, okay? Stevie Weeby, yo Stevie, this package is just a little something to help you fight off that negative LA energy. EMK waves, lizard people, energy vampires. These gifts will bring you protection, love, peace, positive, positivity, and just all around good vibes. I cleanse, I cleanse them with Palo Santo. I, that's what I was smelling. Palo Santo and Moonlight. Thank you for the constant hustle and putting out content for us. Much appreciated. You might net have the highest sub count, but the community is one of the strongest and most loyal. I do have an Instagram and Facebook where I sell my products and I want to give back to the supporters of the Stevie Weeby show. For anyone who follows my account, will get 15% off for life. What? I'm all about spiritual peace and love and spreading that energy through the universe. You are a light, my friend, and continue to shine it through this lifetime. Enjoy these pieces as I did. 
Read. Okay, it says read after opening this next part. Okay. Check this out. You know I love my Palo Santo. Mmm. You already know I love that. Fluorite from China. I don't want to open it and like ruin it, but this is fluorite from China. Fluorite from Madagascar. And dude, check this out. Mmm. Look at that. It's a necklace. I'm wearing it right now, my friend. And then the, all this other cool stuff. It's just like these cool fluorite. I got to look up fluorite. I don't know what spiritual properties it necess necessarily has, but it's just like a bunch of cool stuff. Hold up. There's like a letter in this one. I, I might have to open one of them. Fairy garden or organite made by me. Dude, this guy's on a whole different spiritual level, my friend. What? Necklace, necklace is organite made with five types of metals, shungite, obsidian, and tormir powder. Also with red garnets, beads, or copper, black onyx, and lava stone. Fairy Garden, also made by me, that's what I just displayed, has all the same materials, including amethyst, quartz, orange, kyanite, block, kyanite. I don't know if I'm saying this right, my friend. I'm trying. I will custom make necklaces and fairy gardens for your listeners. Just send me a DM. Peace. Love to you all. And remember to keep shining your light. Bobby. And this is, you heard it, 15%, guys. All right. I know the camera got it. Oh, amazing minerals on IG and FB. Peace and love. That's not amazing. It's O-M-A-Z-I-N-G-M-I-N-E-R-A-L-S. Thank you. There was a lot of thought put into that I really appreciate it you know I know you watch this because you know I read every letter and dude I'm gonna spread I'm gonna put this near my dad's uh urn there you know I think this will bring good energy thank you to my apartment thank you thank you my friend okay let's keep it going this what do we got here this one's from Jay Moreno um okay Oh, snap. This is a beautiful picture, my friend. But it wasn't a beautiful night because this is the night where I sniffed Jeremiah Watkins' butt hair. Pilot episode, Weeby chooses a butt hair to snort. Jeremiah, you can see my balls. <laughs> oh, you know this is going near the piano, my friend. But I'm trying to forget that night, you know. But, hey, it was content. We had to go for it, my friend. Who else is doing that on, the, on YouTube? Not many. And trip out on this, my friend. COVID is out, and I'm sniffing butt hairs? Hello, wake up and smell the coffee, Steve. Not too smart. Last minute note from Kill Tony and Weeby on Tiger Belly. Fam at the Lions Club to who are friends with my funny friend, Stasia Patwell, whom I think you know. Home, hope for a long, fun podcast uh, from your brothers, from another brother, Jason Marino. Dang, dude. That took a lot. He framed it? Come on. That's my buddy, Jason Marino. 
All right, we're almost getting there, all right? God, these are great. What a great one tonight, huh? A little variety. There's some there's some some religion, some not sadness, but there's, you know, there's there's all kinds of different, you know, energies going on tonight, you know? I mean, that definitely shifted the energy of a uh, Jer- uh, 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 a picture of Jeremiah's Jeremiah's nutsack and butt hairs and ass. Okay? That definitely shifted the energy. But hey, it happened. Okay. Uh, this next one's from uh, Koreatown. Store Koreatown. Look at that. Oh, uh, K-Town. You know I'll wear it. You already know. You already know. Oh, you want me to wear it right now? Look at that. See, that's how I do. K-Town. And no letter. But, dude, thank you for the hat and the, the uh, sweatshirt. Support Store Koreatown. Any info I could plug? You didn't write a letter or nothing, huh, buddy? Okay. All right. We're down to the last four, okay? This one is from Spoonie Pello. I wonder what it's going to be. Look at that. I need a new pillow, my friend. I needed a new pillow. Look at that. That is some Tempur-Pedic material right there, my friend. What? Spoony pillow. Don't forget. Okay. Ooh, another one. Do you know how comfortable my neck's going to feel? Spoony pillow number two. And you want another one? Look at this. Tie-dye. Spoony pillow. Thank you so much. I got to shout you out. Spoony, the Spoony Pillow family. S-P-O-O-N-I-E. For travel, cuddle, and sleep. Welcome to the Spoony family. I feel welcomed. I got three pillows of different textures and colors thank you spoony pillow look at that i'm gonna sleep so good tonight all right the next one it ooh infinity you know i love my infinity too my friend mm, you know i wear all this stuff I, I wear these every day. I had the I had the OG one that I, the first time this guy gave me one. I think Manchi was. I, I've said this story before, but he gave me a green one. I wore it all the time. Now I got a purple one. Thank you so much. You know I love this Infinity clothing. Look at that. Look at that. Psy- highly psychedelic too, my friend. Mmm. Thank you. Support Infinity. Hold up. We got a message. Hold up. Hey, Steve. Thanks for the shout out. I'd like to move forward on some paid promo. Stevie Weeby code for $11 off any order at infinitylife.us. Thanks, Nate G. Did you hear that? Use. This is a paid promo. Use Stevie Weeby code for eleven dollars off any order at infinitylife.us. Okay, I think he made it. He just did a promotion. Okay, look at the cool psychedelic cat. Mm. You heard it first here. Eleven dollars off. Go to infinitylife.us. Infinity Life. I N. F I N T Y L I F E dot U S. Thank you, Nate. And I think, Nate, I met you in real life, huh? Comment below. I think we did meet uh, when Manchi, when we, we were on the road somewhere doing a show. You did walk up to me, and that's how I like fi- found out about Infinity. Let me show the box, too, just to show some extra. 
Mm. Infinity. Okay? Don't sleep on it. All right, we're getting to the end. Ooh, look at this. You already know my man Aaron in Hell's Kitchen. I wonder who that is. He kind of looks like a cowboy character. Wait a minute. It's Raymond, a.k.a. Little Ray, skating a pool. I'll let Raymond see this. I think he'll like it. We already know about Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. He's been down since day one with Stevie's P.O. Box. Dude, this is like origami confetti, dude. He took time doing this. Look at this origami confetti. They're like birds. Ugh. All right, Aaron. Steve. Dang, dude. Steve, one of the projects I've started during the lockdown is completing a san but. Sanbazuru, which is a Japanese tradition of folding 1,000 origami cranes for peace and good luck. Dang! Here are a few of those to wish you peace and good luck and congratulations on 100,000 subs. Stay healthy. Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. Let me display some of this beautiful origami. These are cranes. <laughs> Dude, he hand did these. I got to treat these really delicate, okay? Beautiful. Let me make sure they're back in the box. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to treat them very gently, okay, Aaron? And I'll let Ray know that you did uh, that thrasher thing for him. I think that's all we have. Um, so thanks. F Wait a minute. Huh, what's this? Daryl D. Huh. He's still around? Wait a minute. Daryl D. is still around, everyone. He's back. I need to do a couple breathing exercises because I, I, I need to prepare myself before I read these letters off. Just be calm, Steve. Daryl's your friend. Show love, Steve. Weeb. I know I told you that I would no longer send you any packages, but I was so bored, so here you go. This is a tape of an electronic group from Atlanta. I was recently in Georgia minding my own business when I was approached by this group who told me if I didn't buy their tape and send it to you, they would beat me senseless. I didn't want any drama, so I bought it, and once again, here you go. I hope I never hear from those guys again. Daryl. It's the Al Borg group, and the tape is My Favorite Pope. And the cassette tape is yellow. Thank you, Daryl. That wasn't so bad. I thought you were going to come in hard, you know, but as far as uh, the insults or whatnot and the jokes. But that was pretty, you know, that's, that was tolerable. Let's keep going. All right, it's a magazine called Creepy, so this is going to be the mean one. Here's a great vintage comic magazine that would keep me awake most nights, even as an adult, but some of these stories are just plain weird. You being the weird person that y you are will enjoy them, I'm sure. 
Please add this to your extensive library or I will swear you'll be hearing from my attorney. Good day, Daryl D. See, that? what did I tell you? I, I know Daryl so well, I already know what's coming, you know? All right, have your attorney contact me. Okay, that's why, is y'all realize why I had to do the breathing exercises? You know what I mean? You know I love you, Daryl. Mad is a four letter word. Where do you get these vintage mags, my man? Heebie jeebie. Here's some classic reading material that will stimulate your mind and tickle the senses. All great minds have referred back to this literary collection of moods and experiences. And you have me to thank for that. Without me, Stevie, you would still be cutting grass and building birdhouses for a living, just like we all knew you would. You're welcome. Daryl D. What did I say? I knew the letters were going to get meaner and meaner and meaner, my friend. Lord. Okay, just please, God. Just give me patience. Okay. Okay, this is, okay, he, got, he gave me some vinyl here. The vinyl is called How to Bowl Like the Champions. <laughs> and there's like illustrations in the back of like a bowler. Where did you get this record? <sighs> we bite. When you told me you wanted when you told me you wanted a new career, I came up with the great idea of you becoming a famous bowler. Just think about it, Stevie. You could bowl all over the world making millions and have exotic women throwing themselves at you. I could be your personal assistant and bodyguard. I will need three weeks of vacation and moving expenses, but we can discuss that later. For now, play this record over and over until your skills are top notch. Hurry up because my rent is due. Daryl D. There you go. We made it to the end. Just a little bit over 30 minutes. Um, that's the end of Stevie's P.O. Box, episode 22. If you want to send any packages, send your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. I love y'all. I loved everything y'all sent. Thanks for keeping this content going. Make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, especially to Scissor Bros Podcast. And I'll have the link in my description. Also check out um, O Rodeo Man feature featuring Little Ray. It's on my YouTube as well. I might leave a link for that as well. Um, and if y'all haven't checked out the latest music I put out, uh, I Feel Stir Crazy, that's on my band camp. That's all in the description box. Love y'all. Peace.
happen today, don't give it away, the peace and the praise, the rays. Shining it down to mighty as crowns, the finest of frowns delayed. Skippy's afraid, he feels betrayed, lift this way, can deal with shade. His spade is a spade, he made the grade, his blade in a charade of pain. I am not a man, I am an animal, a male. I live by maritime, the law of water, but to sail. When my mother had me, I slipped out of her canal. What you call a sailing ship is named after a female.